I mean, Walsh, that's a team that's knocking on the door of top 25 when you come in and, and just, I mean, it dismantle them from, from start to finish. I mean, how does it feel to get that win, and what does that do for you just going forward? Uh, I'll take this one. Um, I just, obviously, it was a, a very big win for us and a big win for our program. Um, I think that Walsh is definitely one of the best teams uh, in the country. They really are. And we were able to, to really get them off balance early in the first quarter. And um, I really attribute that to just our team and team defense and just buying into some concepts. Um, but without, you know, they're, they're definitely a really good team, and we're, but we're really happy to get the win and we're super proud of the girls. And Sam, I mean, just an absurd stat line. Double your points, double your rebounds, you had four or five blocks. I mean, what, what were you seeing out there that was allowing you to just find some openings in the defense and, and collect so, so many rebounds? Yeah, I think like Coach said, it's all about the team chemistry and one of the things this offseason we really focused on was just getting as much playing time together as we can on the court, in the weight room, and so I think that just really helps. And then the, yeah, it just goes to the teammates really seeing the court too. You know, it's as a post player, I'm not the one bringing the ball up, so I really credit my teammates a lot for that. Yeah, and I know Coach Lauren mentioned yesterday that the, the shots weren't falling for you yesterday, and, and, and now today you come in and you lead the team in scoring. So what, what kind of changed for you? Was it just seeing, seeing the ball go in early, or what was kind of the difference? Yeah, I think seeing the ball go in early definitely helps. And, you know, after a, after a game like yesterday, it really helps when you have your teammates have your back and, you know, remind you that you put in all this hard work over the off season and that you deserve to, you know, go out there with a little swagger and some confidence and really, you know, play your game. You know, and that's what I tried to focus on today was – uh, just getting back into the basics of like what I'm trying to do as a post player. And that quick start was obviously huge for you guys. Just jumping on them really and really blitzing them early. I mean, can you attribute that to this team is so senior and kind of veteran having you sprinkling, you know, freshmen like Shea and stuff like that. I mean, what, what do you kind of attribute that quick start to? I definitely think it's um, a combination of things. One, the, the leadership and our returners, uh, a veteran group. Two, knowing what's on the line when you play a, a, a good team out of the GMAC. Um, the new facility, playing at home, having some fans here. I mean, I think there are a number of things that really um, added to the excitement today. But I, I just think that it, it's kind of unbelievable, the 30 in the first quarter for us, but it really was our defense. And it, we really defended well early and got the stops. Um, we were able to limit their offensive uh, boards and really limit those second chance opportunities early. Um, and I just really think we, we did a great job defensively early and um, we were really playing together as a team. And, and we talk about that. We talk about when we notice like, hey, it just doesn't feel right. It just seems like we're working too hard to try to score. And once we kind of just settle in and let the ball move, um, it, it certainly is a lot of fun, and it's, it comes a little more natural. And, and what really was kind of the game plan defensively? I think in the first half, of it, they shot around maybe like 19 percent. You were out rebounding out rebound them in the game by 20 plus. I mean, was there a real emphasis of making them take deep shots and just crashing the glass? What was kind of the emphasis? Well, you did see them make you know some threes down the stretch and really take quite a few threes. And yes, our emphasis was we can't let two players in Macy Sales and Shea. Carter come in and score over 50 on our home floor. And they were our focus to really uh, limit their opportunities and, and really um, we knew that we were probably going to give up some threes today and we were going to just weather the storm and everyone bought into that and didn't panic when they made some threes. Um, but that was really our, our mindset today. Right, and Sam, for you, what's it like, you know, obviously opening a new arena, but Right off the bat, you, you play a huge game in, in this new arena, and you're, you're playing a big-time opponent. What's it like for you just kind of being in that type of atmosphere and being able to get the win in that game? I think it it's just a culmination of everything, you know, all of us have been working for all our lives and playing basketball. It's the thing you dream of. Like, when you go to, a, uh, to college and you're playing this sport, it's all about that atmosphere. And so for all of us, we just really try to buy in, and we know we're so fortunate uh, to have this space and to be sharing it with the G League. It's it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience and we're all trying to make the most of it. Yeah, and just one more for kind of both of you. Obviously, the, the focus now turns to Cedarville. You guys got another big game. Cedarville's obviously really good as well. Where When do you guys kind of take your mind off of this one and move on to, to game planning for the next one? 
Well, probably when I leave the room. So I've already uh, started with the Cedarville um, template, or rather my staff has started with that. I'm a little superstitious, so I haven't jumped ahead. What I do know is that they're averaging over two games, 88 points. So, boy, that's that's a lot. And uh, we're really going to have to come with a defensive mindset when we travel to Cedarville on Wednesday.